The Hot Culture World across the region met in Rwanda to share experiences, stimulate investments and explore trade opportunities. This was the first event of its kind to create a regional marketplace where companies can do business, promote farmer entrepreneurship, collect new information and business solutions, and advocate for an improved trade environment and relations in the region. The organizers and high-level participants were delighted by the event's potential. Well, I'm very pleased with the large turn-up of, uh, of experts and uh, professionals from the horticulture sector. That is always the big joker. You don't know if everybody is coming. And I'm very pleased with that. And especially also with that we have a good representation of the neighboring countries. Many countries have managed to come, so we are hoping that out of this conference uh, we are going to get good outcomes in terms of uh, how do we get more innovative in this area of horticulture, but also we are hoping to shape up good trading relations because the trades for this sector, they, can, they are both regional and international. The challenges to be addressed really is to attract first and foremost the private sector, to be able to be willing to, to risk some of their investment uh, to come into the horticulture. The rest is really building blocks, uh, scaling up. We have the minimum infrastructure that is required. The conference which attracted over 500 industry professionals saw innovators from the region present their products and services to a team of judges during the much anticipated business innovation competition. The sponsors were upbeat on their involvement at the conference and were looking forward in providing opportunities, enabling trade and business relations in this promising sector. As a Dutch organization, we saw an opportunity to connect these companies to Dutch companies as well. So we've invited a lot of Dutch companies to attend the conference and um, hopefully a lot of business deals will be done. Participants at the conference were treated to a three-day exhibition at the Kigali Expo grounds showcasing various products, services, innovations and technologies in the sector. The event ended with an award ceremony where winning business innovation competitors walked away with attractive prizes. The conference offered a platform for regional stakeholders to share good practices, knowledge, experiences and building relations. This conference is about sharing the experiences and the opportunities which are there uh, in the horticulture sector today in this region. How can we improve that horticultural sector? This is a clear call to the public and private institutions to join the efforts in setting implementable strategies, think positive, be innovative, and pragmatic. One of the key components for development is innovation. It cannot be emphasized enough. Uh, innovation can give a comparative advantage, brings in diversification, and also contributes to employment generation for young and dynamic entrepreneurs, men and women. This is a very great opportunity for the uh, business community in this region that we need to see how we can collaborate in order to move the horticulture uh, trade in our region. Seven agro focus country networks, Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, Jira Congo, Zambia, joined key international players and decision makers in plenary sessions discussing horticultural challenges and opportunities. Breakaway sessions provided in-depth analysis and insight towards growing the sector and experts answered questions on policy and challenging issues. The three-day conference provided a fruitful environment for networking, engaging policy makers and closing business deals. The sponsors couldn't be any happier as they realized the value for their money after forging strong market linkages and trade relations that will help improve the region's hot culture production and make it more competitive. One is awareness. Very few knew about this kind of things. Then the, the exposure and access to market. People should know that there are products that are coming from Rwanda. So awareness, uh, contact, campaign, is some of the achievements that we need. Even these uh, challenges we're talking about, this is where solutions come from. We thought by uh, supporting this uh, conference, uh, we can build our network here, learn what's happening in Rwanda, 
and we hope in the near future to bring some of the things, the lessons we've learned, the approaches we apply, for example in Kenya or in Zambia or in Ethiopia, that we can also bring them uh, to Rwanda. Uh, this is an interesting conference in the sense that uh, the main focus is the export, if I can say the big thing, and horticulture, a product being uh, a product that uh, all of us is in Rwanda, stakeholders in economic are focusing on. We believe that uh, it will boost, first of all, the awareness of people. And again, as economic operators, uh, it's, it's going to bring more opportunities in terms of investors coming into East Africa region, namely particularly Rwanda, which is, again will increase our export as the country. And again, as a transport and forwarding company, we'll be getting more business in this time. Such kind of events where all stakeholders in, in country and regionally are meeting to discuss issues and share experiences, good practices, and also discuss about the, the policy, the policy framework of, of, of regional trade in North culture. For us, it's a good opportunity to... Uh, I think it starts with um, uh, knowledge sharing and making connections across borders because uh, something that can be done already in, in Uganda can be very new to Rwanda and vice versa, for instance. So uh, it starts with knowledge sharing and building relations and I think this conference uh, has been a great first step to do so. Innovators from the region pitch their product proposals and services to the expert jurors during the business innovation competition. Chairwoman Jen Kamau suggested further support to bridge the skills gaps. I'm hoping that this is one of the areas that AgriProfocus will take forward from this. That from, especially for the winners, if we could develop a program where we can support them in terms of business skills, uh, business skills management, uh, pitching for their businesses, developing their ideas into bankable um, ideas. 14 participating companies presented their projects to the judges, among them Francesca Muni from Kenya who showcased her soil repairing project. So it is very important for us and for every other farmer and for every consumer to be keen on the soil health because all the vitamins and nutrients that we consume from the foods are dictated by what the crop picks from the soil. John Bosco Biamgesha from Uganda presented innovative technology in preserving banana products. So we have innovated ways of, incre of increasing the shelf life by vacuum sealing. We vacuum seal the banana and then we keep it refrigerated. When you do that, the banana can go for up to six months. Vegetable grafting presented by Gahima Dao from Randa equally impressed the judges and the audience. What's the, the, the main problem of law? agricultural produce. The main problem is land. Here we came up with the solution of producing high quantity of vegetables by maximizing the small land we have. Chairwoman Jen Kamau appealed to the participants to focus on their competitive advantage. Don't try and do everything. There are many challenges out here facing our smallholder farmers. But choose that one thing that you have competitive advantage for and focus on it. ICCO Terafina Program Advisor Patrick Birasa from Randa emphasized the great market potential from the presented projects. I was very impressed by the quality. So first of all, there are young people presenting. Now you see the future is still there, time to improve. Again, you see different products. You saw banana, you saw chili. In the, and the good thing also I saw the market, there is really potentiality to grow those good ideas. Exhibitors at the three-day hot culture expo were excited to showcase various products and services from the region. Visitors to the fair manifested different interests seeking inspiration, trade partnerships, value addition and job opportunities. We have a lot of fruits in our region like pineapple and passion fruit. But our farmers gained little revenue from it at the markets. Therefore, we are interested in value addition here so they can earn more. I'm still a student, but if I have uh, an opportunity after, uh, uh, after my school, after my studies, yeah, I can join horticulture. I can see there's a, a lot of opportunities in horticulture, uh, it's a new sector. Uh, which means we can tap it, tap into the new, uh, the new opportunities. 
so that we can try to help this sector to boost. The final highlight of the conference was the award ceremony. Guests were treated to the best of Rwandan culture, dance and singing. Participating innovators were awarded certificates of acknowledgement and AgriProfocus announced the winners of the business innovation competition. So I would like to announce the winner of the public vote, it's Gashora Gold. There is coming the second runner-up is Maisko Limited from Rwanda. Bruce Nelda further went ahead to announce the first runner-up. Kofa Limited. The winner is from Uganda, Afri Banana Products. The guest of honor, PSF Chief Operations Officer Yvette Mokarima, commended the event organizers and sponsors for their tremendous support and advice to have what culture contribute to the development and growth of the region. Let me congratulate as well the winners of this evening and let me commend the work which has been done by AgriProfocus, PSF team, uh, NAEB team, the Chamber of Agriculture and the Farm Team, thanks for the well job done.